Michigan Whitetail Pursuit is brought to you by Fourth Arrow Camera Arms, Final Rest, and Windset. It's October 13th. Wind is finally coming out of the west, southwest. It's supposed to stay pretty steady, as you can see from the overcast. We can get some dark clouds going in through. We had a little bit of sprinkle just a little while ago. But, uh, just getting settled in. I'm running my wind scent unit tonight. Like you normally hear me talk, my downwind side is my most critical. I have deer that go to my north, and they wrap around the woods into a bean field behind me. Most of my deer will stay to my south. They'll be all right, but if these deer go in this woods and walk down behind me and start to blow, I need something to cover my scent. So I've done everything I can do personally. Next thing I do, turn it on. I'm ready to go for the night. Today, it's still early season, so I'm running Sanctuary, as you can see. So it's P7 scent, premium scent going out. Finally got the picture of one of my shooter bucks on this camera two nights ago for the very first time. So we're back because he's going to have to come back when the dogs are here sooner or later. He's dead or alive when these other deer walk up to him. So we left him for the night. So it's 7 30, 8 o'clock the next morning. It's 30, 40 degrees last night. He ought to be good. Opened up itch in here, hit a track, and then uh, we'll see what happens. So. Welcome to chasing my buck. I can smell him. Yeah, yeah it's here. Right there's a big smell. Dog would have been mad if I found him later on. <laughs> oh, you we leave. walked right by him. We weren't leaving. Ain't no way we were leaving. Gabe. It's a beautiful buck. <laughs> <laughs> he is a damn. Because he went to the field and then came back north. Yeah, he came back down. See, that's what I did is I went back into the loop, he, into the center, and started coming back at him. And it's like. Well, where that last blood was, he came down his back track, went right back in where he came out, and then he circled around this one. Yo! <laughs> that's a monster, that Uncle Rob. That is a damn gorilla. 
Oh, he's so yeah. heavy. Man. <laughs> Woo! Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I hit him back. Uh, you know, to, to film and to hunt. I almost threw my camera out of the tree because I'm like, okay, I'm tired of this. It's just too hard to try to get, make everything happen. And so what I ended up doing, because the deer were coming back, because either they saw me move or they smelled me from behind, but whatever was going on, I got excited and let that trigger go a little bit quick, but we knew we had a lot of blood. He bedded so quickly. And uh, thanks to someone coming out with their dog, which was phenomenal to watch your work. And uh, here we sit, so. It's a good day. Welcome to Michigan Whitetail Pursuit, and uh, hopefully you get to put yours down this year. Seventh of November. It's four o'clock. We got delayed. On our way in, there was a big coyote on the far side of the cut beans, and so we stopped it as best we could to call. Him. my spotter tonight. I got my grandson with me. He's coming out. I saw a nice buck in here last night. So hopefully he's going to come back. Yeah. Yeah. This is how it ended. You guys saw the shot, and uh, you know who was hunting with me. It's my first grandson. You're how old now, Rory? Seven. Seven years old. And how many times have you been up in a tree stand? Um, what? <laughs> Tonight. It was his very first time in a stand. It was 22 feet up in the air, and then I was perched up above him in another spot. And we had a buck, a target buck out there. We called him the Split G2, and here he is. I mean, it was getting towards the end of the night, and we thought it just wasn't going to happen. And then we thought, well, well, maybe we'll take a doe. We had a friend who really needed the meat. And all of a sudden, here he comes out, and he was just on full speed, running like crazy, and made his way across to us. Uh, put a pretty decent shot. He kind of turned towards me, so I took that top, that front shoulder, and uh, he went down right in the middle of the field, never made it anywhere else. So, hey, thank you. That was a good night for a grandpa.
and pictures of him from early season. Yeah, he's got a split T2. We haven't seen him in four weeks. I thought he was dead. Here he is. the wind scent tonight I had those and small bucks behind me all night and I just I could not take my eyes off of him and they were coming through me all downwind absolutely no doubts that that p7 seduction scent did its job Some mass to him and tons of kickers. I get a better picture. He's got redneck counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points. <laughs> get his front done. Look at that crab clawing everywhere. Oh, I could not be happier. This is the buck we've had pictures of him from early September and haven't seen him in I think it's been four weeks since I had a picture or I seen him at hunting. He shows up tonight watching for two hours. 